the government would have within the six weeks or seven weeks that we decided to uh, this Lock, uh, not lockdown but the, coron uh, the coronavirus came mm. we've been preaching these same issues I was thinking that the lockdown would have been an opportunity for the government to try and decentralize the management and education of uh, people about COVID-19 and ensure that local people are involved to ensure this implementation of social distance and stay at home is very, very important to involve the ordinary man or to, to, to decentralize because at the district level, they could have even, even broken it further to the communities where a COVID-19 community uh, 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 committee could have been formed to ensure that every community restructure their area in such a way that it is in compliance with uh, the requirements of what uh, COVID-19. Mm. In other words, the social distance, there should be some local people mm. or the, 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 with the assistance, of course, of the military and police. Instead of all of them being in Accra and other areas, they could, have, they, they could all have been moved. The police, the military, the prison service, all the services, even the fire service, like we do it on, on election days, they could have all been deployed and distributed uniformly across the country right. to ensure that we implement this, uh, this um, uh, uh, trial or this uh, uh, personal hygiene, social distancing, stay at home, etc. But we didn't do that. Kwame, it's just like, when you go there, you, I mean, it's simple. Even the, the, the eating at the chop bars and everything, they are still there. They will buy their food with their meat. Uh, they will sit on tables and will do anything that they want. Mm. The night, uh, the beer bars, the chop bars, they are all open. It is still the same old story. Mm. So it is within these conditions, when the president has failed, to implement all these things, mm. to ensure that they are, they are, they'll be implemented, yeah. that he is lifting the, the lockdown mm. in a place like Accra. Mm. I'm using Accra as an example because when it appears that the figures that are coming from Accra, Tema, is too high that anybody will not feel comfortable. The president goes on to say that now we can have, have enough PPEs, mm. The protective, uh, the personal protective equipment, where local uh, industries are manufacturing sanitizers and other things that are used in the fight against um, the coronavirus, and uh, so things appear to be better now. And so he's lifting the ban. Well, I mean, these things have not yet hit the ground. We have not even yet started using them to fight the virus. I know that they are coming, but they are, they are coming alone. I mean, if we know how this virus spreads, its uh, effectivity, the rate at which it can spread, I'm not seeing the way that just uh, bringing this equipment without even using them at the facilities yet can be a good reason to, uh, to lift the ban. And he's talking of about, about equipment, equipment. How many ventilators have we brought in? And when I study the figures, how the figures went, our death figures, even though it is very small, I realized that anybody who was on a critical list, as the critical list reduced, our death increase, increased. Mm. In other words, if you read, uh, there was a time that it was about four. Then we have critical, let's say four. Mm -hmm. Then when critical got, uh, when death got to six, critical got to two. Mm. What that means is, is that whenever somebody is declared critically ill, it appears that the person died. I see. In other words, mm. our critical cases are not able to survive, mm. and I'm not surprised about that because when you get to a critical stage, you practically need one anesthetist one doctor anesthetist to stand by you. Mm. You need intensive care uh, personnel, doctor, nurses, about three of them 
to be with you to spend the night. Where are we going to get this level of staffing wow. for our hospitals? Interesting. Mm. So, mm. and I always say that, so we should prevent our cases, which currently we say some of them are asymptomatic, they are mild cases, mm. uh, a lot of them uh, possibly uh, medium cases that are admitted, but the critical and uh, severe cases do not survive. Mm. And this is where we have to be careful because as the number increases or our cases increases, it is likely that you get those who get severely ill also at increasing. increasing yeah. And when that increase increase, the number of deaths will also increase. increase. Uh, we cannot even have the we don't have the ability to manage them. Fantastic. Yes. Right. We don't have it, it's, to it's been a very revealing analysis from uh, yes. Dr. Nawani. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But 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 also let's let's um let me come back again to you, mm -hmm.